Lake Resources is a clean lithium developer utilising direct extraction technology for the development of sustainable high purity lithium from its wholly owned flagship Cachi project, as well as three other lithium brine projects in Argentina. The projects are in prime location within the lithium triangle where 40% of the world's lithium is produced at the lowest cost. Lake Resources is focused on demonstrating that the lilac direct extraction method will enable it to be an efficient, responsibly sourced, environmentally friendly and cost competitive supplier of high purity lithium, which is readily scalable and in demand from tier one electric vehicle makers and battery makers. Joining me to discuss more is Managing Director Steve Promnitz. Steve, welcome to TCN TV. Thanks very much. Great to be here. Now, Lake Resources' flagship Cachi project is in the Argentinian part of the so-called Lithium Triangle, which also straddles Bolivia and Chile. What advantages does this project have versus other lithium operations in the region? Yeah, so we're in the prime location when it comes to lithium brines. And we have something that many others have, which is a large resource. But the difference is this resource is expandable. It's open laterally at a depth. It also has a very clean brine, so less stuff to take out of it to produce a good product. Uh, we've done a pre-feasibility study that shows it's a high value, long life project and also cost competitive. Uh, and it's absolutely critical that whatever you're doing, you're at least cost competitive down the low end of the cost curve. Lake Resources plans to separate lithium from salty water brine. Uh, what makes this process cleaner versus other separation methods? And what other advantages does your planned water extraction technology offer? So we've taken a different path a couple of years ago. We saw that the end users wanted a high purity product. So we've gone to a direct extraction process and it just separates out the lithium from the brine. So automatically you produce a high quality product. And because you're just doing that without using any chemical reagents, you can actually return that brine back to where it comes from. Because the lithium is only about 1% or less, you're basically returning all the water back to where it comes from. So you've got a small physical footprint. Uh, you're doing it in a more efficient way. Uh, we're extracting that lithium in the space of hours instead of months or years. And you're doing it in a cost competitive manner, but best of all, environmentally friendly. And that is a key plank of what we're doing, both high purity and also cleaner, uh, more environmentally uh, responsible. Now, Steve, Lake Resources regularly talks about high purity lithium growing in demand and gaining a premium price. Why is this such a focus? So it's quite common, particularly in the mining sector, to sort of produce something and then find a market for it. But as you come into these sorts of specialist areas, you've got to sit in the pocket of the end user. So we went out to battery makers, cathode makers, about two and a half years ago, and they said low impurities, high purity, because if you do that, you produce then a high quality uh, battery that doesn't fail, that does have any issues. So that's why we're focusing on low impurities to mean more reliable batteries. And for us, high, high quality, high purity also means a premium price. So because we're cost competitive, we can also get a big margin as well on the product we produce. So it's a win both ways. High quality lithium chloride solution from Catchy Brine has recently been processed by direct lithium in extraction in a pilot plant, uh, which has in turn been uh, converted into high quality, low impurity lithium carbonate. What are the remaining steps in getting Catchy from the pilot plant module to production scale? And could you talk, talk us through um, these projected delivery dates? Certainly. So when you do something new, and although this technology is a well-worn, well-known water processing, it is new for the lithium space, we had to do that test work. And the key thing was in October uh, 2020, we released results. It's basically a culmination of more than two years' work. And essentially, we've de-risked that project now. By producing at pilot plant scale, it means that our scale up now to production is relatively small. And why is that? It's because these modules, you just multiply them. So instead of having one or two, you've got 50 of them. But essentially, each one, each tank is doing exactly the same thing. So it's quite unusual. Most uh, projects at this, at this 
uh, position at this stage have maybe a 50 or 100 times scale up and we're talking single digits, three or five. And so the key deliverables now are completing our studies that we're doing over the next 12, 18 months, having a, the same pilot plant operating on site, uh, and then we're ready for construction finance um, in the latter part of next year, leading into 2022 for construction, and then 2023 for production. It's a pretty exciting timeline. Steve, earlier this month, Lake Resources announced the ramp up of project development activities at its Kachi Lithium Brine project. What do these activities entail? And can you tell us how much has already been done? Well, we're fortunate, uh, despite the global pandemic, we've been able to do operations on site. We have a reduced work workforce and, and a lot of uh, things in place to make certain that, um, that everybody's safe. Uh, but the key thing is that we've initiated both our definitive feasibility study and as part of that, we have to do things on the ground, uh, pump testing, some water wells. Uh, we're getting ready to have a pilot plant demonstration plant on site and, um, and some of the other studies, some done on, on, uh, at the project and some done remotely. So it's really just to kick off uh, with the summer season, those things are underway. Now, your last September quarter report said around $3 million in cash is on the books at um, the end of the period. Is this sufficient to initiate the project's definitive feasibility study? And as you progress towards the DFS, what other funding opportunities are being explored? Yeah, so that, that was enough uh, to get our studies underway. Uh, but as I mentioned, by getting these results out in October, it's totally changed the sort of conversations. It's one thing to say you're going to be doing something, but when you deliver those sorts of results, uh, it really wakes up the market. Uh, our next steps are actually putting that into batteries with this great company, Novonics, and then that further reinforces that this works well. So um, we're having those conversations with the supply chain, and that will probably then lead to additional financing going forward. Look, here's the thing. Lake Resources is doing something fundamentally different. We've positioned our business to be a solution to two key things that electric vehicles and battery makers are looking for. One is that consistent high purity product that they need so that they can then deliver a consistent high performance batteries without failures. And unfortunately, recently we've seen all these recalls. And the second thing is the big electric vehicle makers, Mercedes, Daimler, uh, Tesla, they've all come out and said, we need something that's more sustainable. And we're at the absolute vanguard of delivering that. We've now got a 21st century solution for a 21st century demand. And Lake is one of the only, that, uh, only companies that's going to be doing that together with Lilac in the near to medium term. So it's a, it's a pretty exciting space to be in. Steve, thank you for the update and all the best for Lake Resources. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Now, if you like what you see, please be sure to like and share the video, subscribe to TCN TV and drop us a comment. Tell us who you would like to see next and what you would like me to ask them. Or if you're an investor, send us an email so we can keep you in the loop with the latest ideas to empower.